All right, welcome back to the Field Forest tutorial. And in this video, final video probably, we're gonna talk about uh, some of the things I did in After Effects to kind of composite and finish this scene up. Um, so let's take a look first at what uh, came out of Cinema 4D. So I'm just gonna solo this layer. And uh, if you're not familiar with After Effects, uh, that's okay. We're gonna talk about more about concepts about how to add things and how to look at a scene and finish it more than the actual step-by-step -step in After Effects. Um, but I will break down every layer and why I added it. So first of all, here's out of After Effects. I'm also gonna turn off our um, effects here. And this is what came out of Cinema 4D, okay? Um, now, first thing you'll see is I actually scaled this image. I did a zoom out. This is all in After Effects. I scaled the, the image down, and then I scale it down over time to give a little bit of a zoom out. Now, um, if I were to, if I had unlimited time, I would go actually render a, a, a slow camera zoom out in cinema. But you know, when you're against the clock, sometimes you gotta do a little scale in After Effects. So that's the first thing we did. Next thing we did is I added motion blur. So I used Real Smart Motion Blur just to blur the front leading edge of some of these things. I dialed it way down, 0.2, but it does make a difference. It adds a little bit more energy to our scene and a little bit of motion blur. I use this plugin all the time, Real Smart Motion Blur. Uh, it's not included in After Effects, but highly recommended. Um, and then I added a curves just to brighten it all up. It was a little, it was a little dark. And rather than re-render, let's add a little curves, brighten it. Okay, so below that we have our background. Okay, I picked a really dark navy blue kind of background because I knew you know, I wanted to make it kind of like a movie title thing and a little bit more moody. But again, don't forget, because we added a um, alpha channel, I'm gonna hit uh, shift command Y to pull up our solid settings with it selected. You can go pick whatever color you want, okay? Um, and you can make it all cool modern orange, you know, like I like it. Uh, just like that, boom. I wanna, I'm want i gonna render out this version too. Look how cool that looks, okay? But don't forget, we have this alpha channel so you can pick a background. All right, I'm gonna go up to the next level. Now, this next one is a little glow I added to um, the, the front, uh, more of like a flash. Um, so this is literally a royal blue solid. I just made a solid, masked it out in this ki kidney bean kind of shape. I added some feather to it by hitting F and then dialing up the feather and then I screened it on top of our original image. And all it does is this, see that little flash? It just adds a little bit of like light energy at the very beginning, okay? Above that we have uh, what I would kind of call a lens flare. It's done the same way, it's another mask. If you've watched tutorials of ours in the past, you may have seen me do this maybe dozens of times but I use them all the time, just a little little lens flare mask. It's again, another solid that's masked out with a feather on it, and it gives you this effect right there. Let's just turn it on and off, see? Without, with, just a little bling. It's real low, it's like 20%. You could even probably dial it lower. Okay, above that, we have vignetting. So let's talk about that. If I go back a little bit, you'll see, if I turn this on and off, look in the corners, it's just darkening up our corners a little bit. It's actually darkening up our entire scene, but it's leaving the brightness here in the middle to stand out. And this is extra important if you have a logo here, you have some words here, obviously, like we have, that you want your user to, um, or you want your um, audience to read. Well, sometimes you just gotta darken the rest of it to make sure that they see the words you want them to, to, to read, right? If you're having a big sale and you put you know, on sale in the middle, you might wanna darken the rest of it to make sure that they read it. Without that vignette, they might be looking up here, looking over here a little bit too much. Okay, so vignette. Above that is another brightness layer just to kind of cancel out the vignette. It, it The vignette was great, but it was a little dark. I even think looking at this now, it's still a little too bright. I'm gonna pull this back down, leave the, the corners a little bit darker. And then above that, we have a fade out. So this last adjustment layer is a levels and this level uh, just adds a little bit of fading out, okay? And that just ends the title there. So um, there's a couple other things happening right now, like the scaling has motion blur on it. And again, uh, this isn't a full After Effects tutorial. Um, in fact, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, Nick, um, I, I want to you learn more After Effects, um, or I would like more detail on compositing 
in After Effects, head on over to our Plus uh, Slack channel. So you're watching this Grayscale Gorilla Plus, go to your account and go into your main Grayscale Gorilla account. Make sure you sign up for our Slack channel and uh, go find me in there. You'll find my name and you say, hey, uh, I think you should do more After Effects stuff. Um, and let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in particular, about breaking down stuff in After Effects like this. And uh, and say, hey, Nick, I liked it, but maybe you should add more detail next time. Or maybe you say, no, I don't need you to show me how to make solids in After Effects. I'm good. So give me some feedback. Um, but that's it. That's the entire piece here. Uh, all done. And frankly, folks, I'm going to go make this version in pink, too, because I, I want it. Let's go do it. Here we go. Uh, let's go dial this up. Oh, that's looking good. Maybe a little bit more orangey and less pinky. Oh man, that's not bad. It's a little bright. Probably have to dial down a couple other things, but let's see what this looks like. Not bad. We might be able to get away without that lens flare thing and make it a little bit more modern. Boom. Look at that, entirely new animation folks anyway thanks for watching um and uh thanks for being a plus member thanks for uh learning along with us hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoy all of the cinema 4d training here on grayscale global plus see you in another video real soon bye everybody